Hey everyone, you know, one of the most touching passages in all of the Gospels that remind us of our, remind us of our relationship with Jesus comes from John chapter 15. I want to set the stage for you. Imagine what it was like that night for the disciples. Uh, they had just gone through the upper room experience. Jesus had uh, told them very clearly that he was going to be brutally murdered, that he was going to die crucif by crucifixion and then rise from the dead. Judas, their friend for the last few years, had all suddenly mysteriously disappeared, and Jesus made some remark about, go do what you're going to do. And then they left the room, and they're going uh, to a garden where they often probably slept for the night, kind of like camping. And as they're going, they're going through a vineyard, and Jesus says, turns to his friends, and he says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. What a beautiful picture of that. Because if you know grapevines, they're, they're so intertwined that that you can't just cut the uh, tear them apart. They they're so intertwined that they can't be just torn apart. And what Jesus is saying there is, everything about me is in you, and I am in you, and you're in me, and we're together, and nothing can separate that. And then he talks about the Father, you know, His Father, God, and it talks about Him as the vine dresser. If you are involved in agriculture at all, with plants or whatever, you know that sometimes a plant needs to be pruned. It needs to have all the dead stuff cut away. It needs to have needless things cut away so it can produce fruit. An apple tree has to be pruned so it gives great big apples. And if that doesn't happen, the apple tree eventually dies. It just doesn't produce fruit or the fruit is bad. And so Jesus says the Father comes and he's going to come and he's going to prune away all of the stuff that you don't need so that you can grow stronger, you can grow healthier in me. And then he says, then I want you to look at it from... Uh, the, the father's viewpoint, he's doing this because he loves the grapevines. They're the most important thing in his life. But look at it also from the grapevine's point of view. If you were a grapevine, the idea of having your father come and prune things away, that's painful. You don't want to do that. But sometimes God takes things out of our lives because they aren't good for us. But because what he really wants is to take these things away that weren't good for us so that we can grow healthy in him. Maybe you're being pruned today. Maybe there's things that God has taken out of your life. Trust him to realize that he'll only take things out of your life that you don't need so that you can be stronger and you can grow stronger and have better fruit for him. What a beautiful picture of the fact that Jesus loves us. That the Bible says nothing, nothing we do, nothing anybody else do, does can take that love away from us. Have a blessed day, everybody. We will bless Jesus.